welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie a no-tie, realistic grasshopper pattern. The material I'm going to use is, this is Frosty Flies from FrostyFly.com. Here is the body. This is a foam body and had, it's a printed hopper on there. The hook I chose to uh, tie this on is from Green Caddis Outfitters. This is a 200R. It is a size 12. See in the back there, this is a straight eye curve shank terrestrial hook. We're going to start out, I'm going to use some red thread because this thread just happens to be a little heavier. You don't want too heavy of a thread, maybe 6 aught because you don't want to build it up too much. I'm going to put a base of thread on. <clears throat> and when I'm going when I'm going back with the thread I want to put a nice tight wraps on there and this is going to uh, this is what's going to secure the hopper to the hook we're going to come back about to the point of the hook and going to bring that thread back up and I'm making open spiral wraps here making those open spiral wraps adds a little bit of uh, friction area for the glue I'm gonna take my whip finish and just give that a couple turn whip finish there I'm going to remove that Now I'm going to take a piece of Kevlar. This is about 8 inches long, I guess, 8 or 10 inches long. I'm going to put this through the eye of the hook. I'm going to bring that and even that out, even it up on the end there. Just let that be for now. Now I'm going to take my hopper body and what I have here is my leg puller. This is a needle, a large needle with a monofilament tippet uh, loop on it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to take my hopper and I'm going to start at the back. And you pre-size this. Look at where you want that hopper. You want that head coming right out the middle. So you can see where you want that hook to come out of the body. I'm going to take that and I'm going to thread that through. There's a little, little tough there. Make sure you get it in there straight. You don't want the uh, hook, the eye of the hook to come out too far on the head. Actually having it come out on the bottom there a little bit is probably better just like that or it's coming out the bottom there I'm gonna push that through actually push it on my desk there just to get it started a bit I'm gonna pull that and now because of the way that I made the uh, leg puller there's a lump there I'm gonna turn that and Put that lump on the bottom. You don't want anything catching on the edge of your uh, hopper there. Go ahead and pull that through. It's pretty, this is a pretty tight fit through here. There we go. I had to use pliers to hold on to the needle. It was slipping. I'm going to pull this and I'm going to push that back and forth there just a little bit. Kind of make a little bit of an opening. You want to make a little bit of a channel inside there so I'm going to slide that back and forth through there a bit and this needle is just a little bit bigger than what the the thickness of the hook so that'll be good I'm going to bring my hook back into play here I'm going to take the Kevlar and put it through the loop and I'm going to slide that hopper onto the Kevlar pull that right through And there we have our hopper on the Kevlar. 
tighten this up a bit. Going to take some uh, crazy glue, super glue, zappa gap, whatever you use. I would recommend some kind of a super glue rather than just plain head cement. This is going to hold better. Waterproof uh, super glue is good, would, would be working. I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide it onto the hook. Make sure you pop that eye out and make sure you have it lined up properly. I can take my Kevlar, pull that off, and that's on there. I'm going to turn it over. You can see the, uh, the head there has a little bit of in, indentation there. And here is the hopper legs, and these are also from Frosty Flies. And we're going to glue them right on the bottom. I'm going to glue them right in there. And using that indentation is going to be the key to the location of the legs. I'm going to take some glue. And I'm going to put some glue on the bottom. Then we're going to take our legs and put them in place. There we go. Just hold them there for a couple of seconds and they'll, uh, that'll secure them really quickly. And now that is done, you can actually, you can use it that way. But if you've watched my videos, I like to reinforce. So I'm going to use that red thread once again. And you're going to see that this is foam right here I'm gonna make sure that I don't trap that leg there we go now if I pull that you can see it pulling onto pulling down so I'm gonna give that a few wraps I'm going to remove my thread I'm gonna give this a few more wraps I'm using the red, you can use a brown or yellow, whatever color you want uh, to camouflage it, but I would like to have that little little red band on the throat there. Just give it a little bit of a attractor there. I'm going to take the whip finish and finish that off. Pull that tight. Now I'm going to take the super glue and I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the thread. Put a little bit there and put a little bit on the top. And now here you have a very high floating, uh, very high float, floatable uh, grasshopper, very realistic. And uh, I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please uh, go to my sponsors. Leave any questions, comments, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.